Hello friends. My name is Mrs. Randall and today we are going to talk about your body's safety rules and early warning signs if you feel unsafe. Before we get started, it is important for you to understand that your body is your body and it belongs to you and you only. If you don't want someone to hug, kiss, or touch you, it is your right and choice to say no. You are the boss of your body and what you say goes. First, it's important that you establish a safety network that includes five adults you can trust and talk to. If there's a problem or a situation where you or someone you know feels unsafe, scared, and uneasy, these five adults should be people who believe you when you tell them what you are feeling and why you are feeling that way. Some examples of people who can be included in your safety network include, your mom, dad, teacher, school counselor, an aunt, uncle, or grandparent. Now, let's discuss your private parts. Your private parts are the parts of your body underneath your clothing. Your mouth is also a private part. No one can touch your private parts or ask you to touch theirs. Nor should they show you any pictures of private parts. If any of these things happen, you should immediately tell an adult on your safety network right away. Feel unsafe? There are some early warning signs to look for. You may get a sweaty brow or sweaty palms. Your heart may start to beat really fast. Your stomach may start to ache and you may even have to use the bathroom. If you start to feel unsafe, tell someone from your safety network immediately. Most important, you must not keep secrets even if someone tells you to keep a secret that makes you feel unsafe or uncomfortable. You must tell an adult from your safety network. Let's take a look at an example of how to use your safety network through the life of a girl named Jen who is having a bad day at school. As a result, she asks her teacher if she could go speak with the school counselor, Ms. Griffin. Oh Jen. Mrs. Lewis told me you were having a bad day today. What's troubling you? You know you can talk to me about anything. Well, I know you always talk to us about making sure we have a safety network with grown-ups we trust but... I try telling my mom and she didn't believe me. Now, I'm afraid to tell anyone. Besides, he said he would do something bad to my family and me if I told anyone else. First of all Jen, I want you to know that whatever you discuss in this office with me will remain confidential unless it involves your safety. I have a duty and obligation to make sure you are safe. Who said those horrible things to you? Well, it's my older cousin. He's been doing things to me that I don't like. It makes me feel weird. What has he been doing to you? He's been touching my private parts. And one time he made me touch his. I tried to tell my mom but when she asked him about it, he said I was lying so my mom didn't believe me. Jen. I'm so sorry this happened to you. I want you to know that I believe you. I am going to contact our school social worker and we will contact the proper authorities to make sure this doesn't happen to you or anyone else again. I am also very proud of you for remembering to use your safety network of adults who you can trust. I'm so sorry that one of those trusted adults didn't believe you. My mom is going to be mad at me. And, he said he would hurt my family and me. Don't worry Jen. I'll do everything in my power to make sure you are safe. Thanks so much Ms. Griffin. I'm glad I came to talk to you. Goodbye friends. Today you learned about your body's safety rules and early warning signs to look for when you feel unsafe or uncomfortable. You also learned about making sure you establish a safety network of 5 adults you can trust. For example, in Jen's case, one of the adults in her safety network didn't believe her so, she moved on to another person in her safety network who did believe her and was able to help bring her to safety. I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, please like this video and subscribe to my channel for more instructional videos like these and remember to keep learning and growing.